three, two, one. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it bad and then you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You gotta be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really wanna be successful, some days you're gonna have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you gotta want. Most of you won't be successful because when you're studying and you get tired, you quit. And I'm here to tell you today, if you got somebody came to my office the other day crying, I said, look, don't cry to give up, cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt, get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. Welcome everyone, good evening, Unity Bonjour Global. tout le monde, j'espère Unity Global, j'espère comment vous allez, comment, bon, comment allez-vous Ok, we have someone. Bonjour. Alors, Mohamed, Mohamed, you are, you are not in the translator channel, Fabian, please assign Mohamed to the translator. Ok, everybody, welcome, 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 how are you I'm so excited, my name is Damien and I got Andreas Kirchner, Diamond Director, on the line with me right now. Andreas, are you excited or what Brother, I'm so excited, I'm so proud that I'm be a part of this incredible moment. A, a dream comes true for me and for you also. Um, hello, Unity Gold World. I love it to be a part of it. It is an absolutely special night, everyone, that we're having here together. And I know you guys are joining in from all different kind of regions in the world. We got thousands of people live on this very Zoom call. We're featuring this in eight different languages to be streamed at the very same time. Uh, a couple of more thousand are watching on Facebook. If you are on Facebook on your mobile device or something, make sure you start a watch party. So this thing is going viral and everybody can hear the message of the man, the myth, the legend that we're going to have on this call Big here easy. today. And for me personally, it's a dream come true. And uh, he wouldn't even know that, but his, his videos, his voice, his authority of speaking, motivation and existence, it's second to none. He's been recognized the number one motivational speaker in the world. And uh, I am just impressed, happy. I feel very, very blessed to be able to share this opportunity with everyone. So without further ado, I want to welcome to the live here tonight, Mr. Eric Thomas. Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Biggie T is in the house. Thank God it's Wednesday. It's, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. And we are alive. Good. How you guys doing? We're awesome. We're awesome. Thank you so much. In fact, some people got Wednesday right now and some people still got Tuesday. I think you're still on Tuesday. Yeah. I'm, I'm in the future and I'm telling you, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I'm Wednesday. I'm feeling Wednesday. <laughs> Oh, brother, it's a, it's an amazing time right now that that we're that we're having uh, all up here. Um, um, it's, it's, it's also a challenging time in the world. But, you know, we decided in this time to just step up and to lead and to, you know, share hope with the world, uh, open up opportunities, share opportunities with people uh, through our network marketing opportunity. Of obviously, we're the original work from home. This is what's been our yes. offer. Yes. Everyone's talking about it. And Absolutely. And then here we are, three, three days before the end of the month, and we're about to write history, brother. And we, we thought, who would be the most powerful voice in the world? And there's yeah. none like you. There's none like you. And so, brother, yeah. Damien, rem you, you remember last year in summer, Damien and me, yeah? We, we met ET at this uh, verified conference in Philadelphia, yeah? yeah. And it, yes. it, it was mind-blowing for us. And uh, yeah. it, the, 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 that was the moment we started with a new chapter. 
okay, to become true leaders by example in network marketing. And uh, he's responsible for all of that. We, we've done it the last month, yeah. And uh, I, I remember this meeting was was uh, was a really game a really uh, really crazy game changer moment in my career because he asked he asked this question um, and I've never asked myself this question before. Yeah, what is your yeah. gift? Why are you here on earth? Okay, what is your profession to uh, to to become great? Okay, take a decision to become great. Okay, and he said the world needs you. That's okay. Right. And now we have the chance to speak with you. Now we have the chance that you're here, a part of this exclusive webinar. Yes. Global. Yes. I'm so proud. I'm so excited. Yes. I can't believe it. Yes. Yeah. You know, guys, this is, a, this is an amazing time. This is an amazing time. Uh, this is time for opportunity. This is time for opportunity. This is not the time to quit. This is not the time to give up. This is not the time of fear. Fear is a reaction. Courage is a decision. Fear is a reaction. Courage is a decision. This is the time to decide to be great. This is the time to decide to be great, right? This is not a time to be fearful. It's not a time to worry. It's not a time to, to have anxiety or stress. This is not the time to run and hide. This is the time to rise. This is the time to rise. This is the time to rise to your highest level. This is the time to rise to the competition. This is the time to rise and do what others are not willing to do. This is, look, if you're great or phenomenal, this is our season. This is game seven with only a couple seconds left. This, this, this is not 90 minutes, you know, in soccer, and you're about to hit the goal, the winning goal. Like, this is not the time to be afraid. We, this is the moment we live for. This is the moment we live for. This is the moment to, to prove who we are and what we're capable of. And again, this is the business. Network marketing allows you to be your own boss. Network marketing allows you to be your own boss, to wake up when you want to wake up, to go to bed when you want to go to bed, to make as many calls as you want to make, to knock on as many doors as you want to knock on. This is, this, this is, the, this is a business that has no limits, that has no boundaries. You're the boundary, you're the limit. There's no, there's not an amount of money you can make. There, 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 there's, there are no limits, there's no cap. They don't set caps. You can be, you can have, and do whatever you wanna do. So this is the season to be great. There, there, there are companies making millions of dollars right now, and not just where I live or where you live, but globally, people are looking at this and saying, I'm going to provide this service. I'm going to provide this service. I'm going, and they are doing phenomenal. So it's not the truth. The world is not in the recession. The greats are making more money than they've ever made before. The phenomenal are coming up with ideas that never existed. So this is our time. This is our moment. If not now, when? If not us, who? Awesome, uh, man, I love the energy and the passion. And E, look, I, I have a question for you. You've seen a lot of, not just great, but outstanding in sports, in entrepreneurs, in, uh, in business. And you know, what would you say is the, is the attributes that unify the great in the world? What is it that, that people have to, I don't know what, what they have to like unlock from inside. What is it that, that you would recommend? Like if somebody says, okay, you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready. Like how, how do I get to the next level? Like what do you recommend for them to, to unleash their potential? Two things. Number one, execute. The greats execute. <laughs> the greats don't make us excuses. The greats make adjustments. They get the job done. 
Whatever they say they're going to do, they do it. It's that simple. Average people don't ever do what they say. Good people do what they say some of the time. The greats, they do what they say they're going to do. They start a dream. They start a goal. They execute. They get it done. Number two, they don't let obstacles stop them. They actually embrace obstacles. They actually love obstacles. They actually drink obstacles for breakfast. They actually eat obstacles for lunch. They do not allow obstacles to stop them. They don't let the obstacles get in the way. They thrive off obstacles. They love obstacles. It gets them pumped up. It takes them to another level. They do not submit. They do not surrender. They do not give up. And finally, they have a belief in themselves. They believe that they're great. They believe that they belong here. They believe they can do whatever they set their minds to do. They just believe in themselves and they don't take no for an answer. They go get it. They go get it. They go get it. And then after they get it, they want to get some more. After they get it, they want to get more and more and more and more. So they believe that they belong. They believe that they're valuable. They believe they have something to contribute to the world. They believe that they belong. They believe that they're great. They believe, they believe that they can, that they will, that they must. They believe in themselves. And they don't, look, they don't let anybody talk them down. They don't, they don't read negative comments. They don't worry about what other people say. They don't worry about what other people think. They kill the noise. They only hear their voice saying, I can, I will, I must. They don't worry about what other people say. They have a deep belief in themselves and a deep belief in their ability to execute. Nice. And uh, just a quick announcement for everybody that's trying to get the Spanish translation. You guys have to select Chinese. I'm so sorry for that. This is just something the technology is playing with us. So please select Chinese if you want to listen to Spanish. Now, e, I want to I want to hear a story from you. Here's the story I need. There is there is there is you on a video telling the story about the gazelle and yeah. the lion. Yes. The story and what does it mean for yes. us? Listen to me. Listen to me. Every single day, it doesn't matter if it's a good day, the sun is shining, if it's a cloudy day, if it's raining. Every day when we wake up, we got to make a decision. Every day when we wake up, we got to make a choice. And so the story is not in the safari, but in the Serengeti. <laughs> in the Serengeti, where it's wide, where, where lions and gazelles and, and boars and you name it, creatures from all over the world are waking up every single day, right? And they can be extinct, like they can lose their lives. They can become somebody's lunch, somebody's breakfast, somebody's dinner. And every single day, a lion wakes up and the gazelle wakes up. When the sun rises, every day a gazelle wakes up, a lion wakes up and boom, they both get to running. They both got to run. Now, here's the difference, though. The gazelle is running for its life. The lion is running to feed his family. So the question is, who's the fastest? Is it the gazelle or the lion? It's the lion. Why? Because the gazelle is running from something. The lion is running to something. The gazelle is running for his life. The lion is running to take his life so it can save its family's life. And so you gotta ask yourself the question, when you wake up every day, are you running for fear? Are you running because you're scared? Are you running for your life? Or are you running to your life? Or are you running to your life? Are you running to go get something to sustain your life? Are you running to go get something to take your life to the next level, your family's life? Are you running to leave a legacy? Or are you running because you're afraid? The gazelle is afraid. That's fear. And that fear can only take you so far. But the lion is running for love, the love of his family, the love of his life. And when you run for what you love, for what you're passionate about, 
You run faster, you run harder, you run stronger. So you gotta ask yourself, when you wake up every day, are you the gazelle running for your life or are you the lion running to your life? It's your, it's your decision. That's absolutely great. And this is so this is so inspiring because, you know, I feel that leaders are action takers. Leaders are yes. people they don't see as it is. They see as they want it to be. They see to be. Right. Right? And, uh, That's and right. And then they run towards that vision. And, and it's, it's so important to execute. Thank you so much for those nuggets. And, um, the other thing that I wanted to ask you was um, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of sports teams you talk to. Right. And yes. Maybe you can say just a little bit about the work you've done done, done with uh, sports teams, sports professionals, and 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 sometimes it's it, I mean it comes down to to the last minute, and you know sometimes yes. the lose the leave, and the problem yes. is if you lost in your head, you already lost the game. You lost. Anything you lost. Minutes or days, and and, and yeah. what's what's your what's your feeling about this? So the so the so the good players, they play from talent. They're six eight. You know, they're quick, they might be fast, they're strong. So the goods, they use their talent. The greats, they use their talent and their drive. They're able to pull something within. They're willing to go further than the legs can take them. They can go further than their arms and strength can take them. They've got a will, they've got a why, they've got a drive that even when they get tired, they got something else. Even when they're exhausted, they have something else. Even when they lose, they have something else. Even when it doesn't look like it's going their way, they still go hard. They still go hungry. They still go heavy. They don't care what's going on. They got another gear. And the greats, they only got two, one or two gears. The, 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 the good, one gear. The greats, they got several gears. And that's the difference. They're able to go to the fourth quarter. They're able to go to overtime. They're able to go to double overtime. And they never lose their energy. And they never lose their strength. Why? Because they haven't reached the goal. The goods, they go to sleep when they're tired. The greats, they go to sleep when they're done. Again, the good, they go to sleep when they're tired. The greats, they go to sleep when they're done. They do not stop. They do not surrender. They do not quit until they execute on their goals. Yeah, now, you know, e, one thing that you said uh, when we were in Jersey, I love that so much. I mean, you you had that vision for your life, right? To become the number one motivational speaker. And you were sharing some of the challenges that you had in your life. You had it. Um, and, I, and I found it fascinating how you were doing exactly what we discussed to act upon the vision, not how everybody said it's going to be, but on how you, how you yes, thought. Yes, I saw it. I so saw it. Can you can you share a little bit about that? Because it's so inspiring to hear on the decisions. Yeah. Like remember, you were you were going to study, not to study, but to learn the language. All these things yes. Like yes. That. Yes. Yes. So so I think the first thing that you need to do is we need to know not what we want life to be, but what it is. And so many of us get discouraged because we think of life as we want life to be. But life is not what you want it to be. Life is what it is. And you've got to deal with the fact that this is life. And so uh, being that I was you know, from Detroit, uh, my mom got pregnant with me as a young age, you know, a teenager. Being that my father wasn't in my life, you know, I didn't really go to school and take school serious. I was homeless. I had to drop out. And when I wanted to get into the speaking game, they told me all the stuff that I couldn't do, or all the reasons why I couldn't be great. And I made a list of, you don't speak well enough, so I'm going to school. I'm gonna work on speaking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak every chance I get at the school, in the neighborhood, all right? I'm gonna get a mass, a, a four degree, a master's degree, a PhD. I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn how to talk like everybody else talk. I'm gonna stay up late. I'm gonna get up early. Like, I'm gonna do everything I have to do in order to get to that next level. So what are the rules of the game? I'm going to study the rules of the game. I'm going to find out what are the codes? What are the things that people know that you don't know that you're supposed to be doing? I'm going to find that out. What's the language that they use? How do they talk? Like, 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 is it with power? Is it storytelling? You know, is it being succinct? Like, what is it, E? And I woke up every single day and I read books and I watched movies and I studied the greats 
and I went to conferences, and I stayed afterwards, and I talked to the people after the conference. I went to lunch with them, right? I drove them to the airport and talked to them on the way to the airport. I got on the phone with them. I wrote them letters. I emailed them. I did whatever it took. I, it's ne 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 it was never enough. It was never too much. Whatever it took, I'll do whatever it takes. And I did everything I needed to do, things that I didn't believe I needed to do, things that I thought were unfair. I thought there were some people who were prejudiced and some people who were racist. It didn't matter. I did it anyway. I did what they told me to do. I did what they didn't tell me to do. I did what they told me to do. I did what they didn't tell me to do. I just wanted to learn, 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 learn. And once I learned, I was able to get on stage and perform. And nobody could stop me. And nobody could. Nobody could deter me from my dreams and my goals. So you got to want it as bad as you want to breathe. You got to want it. And why do I say that? Because E, you got to want it as bad as you want to eat. You can go 30 days without eating. E, you got to want it as bad as you want to drink. You can go three days without water. But you can't go five minutes without air. You can't go five minutes without air. You'll die. That's why I said you got to want it as bad as you want to breathe. Because you can only go without breathing for so many seconds before you die. That's how bad I want it. I want it as bad as every breath I take. And because I wanted it that bad, nothing or no one can stop me. And I'm where I am today. I'm coming to Dubai, baby. Exactly. So, so E, you've been to Dubai before, right? Tell us about it's that. One time. I loved it. Exactly. Perfect. Perfect. So, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. You, 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 you said it before, the power of decision, okay? The, the, the yes. power of, of your decision to become great, okay? Yes. Please tell us, what, this, uh, what did this decision do with you, okay? This de decision to find your, your gift, yes. to live your gift, the yes. real commitment to yourself, to your personal power. Yes. Yes, so the decision, one, it made me use my time more wisely. I was wasting time. I was watching TV, you know, I was sleeping in, you know, I was going to the movies too much, going bowling, just too much fun. The decision made me get focused and say, you need to spend eight hours, 10 hours a day on your craft, honor your craft, honor your craft, wake up and study your craft, wake, wake up and read about your craft, wake up and watch other people who did the craft. Wake up and go do the craft for free. Go to bed at night and dream about what you did right, what you did wrong. Wake up in the morning, take notes. What can you do better? Watch other people who are great. How are they doing it? Study them, Eric. The decision made me get focused. It attracted a different type of people to me. It made me take life more serious. It made me take myself more serious. I started studying about money. I start running in the morning. You know, I start running five, six miles a day. You know, I start eating differently, right? When I made the decision, I stopped playing as much. I got focused, right? I let certain friends go. I stopped going to certain places. I stopped doing certain things. And I got locked and loaded. And I started making better decisions. Start making not average decisions, a great decision. I started making uh, phenomenal decisions. And as a result of making phenomenal decisions, I start attracting phenomenal people, phenomenal opportunities, right? And so when you make a decision, a decision actually drives you in a certain direction. It actually thrusts you in a certain direction. And the decision was the very first thing that catapulted my career. Decision, decision. You are where you are because of who you decide to hang with. You are where you are because of what you decide to listen to. You are where you are because what you decide to look at. You are what you are because of what you decide to handle and what you do what's in your hand. You are where you are, not because you are a victim or by luck or by chance. You are where you are because of the decisions that you make. Perfect. And we, yeah, that, that's it. That's it. <laughs> It's so crazy because I love this. I love this. And um, what is what is the difference to find your your uh, yeah not only your gift? What what is what is the difference to find your profession? 
Okay, because uh, we have many, many network marketing professionals in this call yes. all over yeah. the world. Unity Global is yeah. the, 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 the fastest growing uh, yeah. team in, a, in, a, in, in one of this, uh, yeah, a billion dollar companies in network yeah. marketing. Okay, yeah. Unity Global is globally, Unity Global is yeah. fast, Unity Global is yeah. big. Okay, yeah. network marketing is a profession. Yes, and I started my career three years ago as with a decision to make it phenomenal, to make it yes. a profession. It is what you make it. Yes. yes. If yes. you take what? something that's already great and you put your great with it, bah. Yes. Boom. But you got to take what's great and you got to be great with it. You can't, you can't get in a company like this and go, you know, I'm in a great company, so I'm just going to be great. No. You got to study the best practices. You got to study other people in this business and see what they're doing. And you got to be willing to do what they do. The money can be made, but it can't be made when you average. It can't be made when you're good. You got to make a commitment to great. A great product and a great person, phenomenal. Phenomenal. But it can't be a great product and an average person. It can't be a great product and a good person. It has to be great, meets great. And when great meets great, boom, phenomenal happens. That's incredible. Um, Eve, probably we, we got just two more questions. So one question that I have is, can you share with the listeners? Because see, sometimes, I mean, I've been to, I've been in that place. I, I, I'm, I'm on a call. I'm at an event a um, few years back and, you know, energy is ecstatic and everything is inspiring. But me, as like a person, a few years back, I was in a different space. I was dealing with stuff, you know, and, and I, I know you had rough times in your life. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you want to share a story, but something that that personally for you was really, really difficult. Um, and yes. how did you overcome a moment like that and rise back to business? Yeah, one of the most difficult things in my life was that my biological father wasn't in my life. Mm -hmm. And as a result, I lacked confidence. You know, I, I, I hated rejection. So when I would knock on doors or make phone calls and people would say, no, I took it personal. Like, I didn't realize it's not personal. Like, E, you're not doing the right thing to convince this person of why they need this product. Like, like it's a great product, but you're not convincing them. And so I had to go back and I had to talk to my biological father and I had to forgive my biological father and I had to get my self-esteem back. And I had to realize it was him that missed out, not me. He missed out on being in my life, that I'm phenomenal without a father in my life, that I've been called to do great things without my father in my life. And I don't need my father to be the great person that I am. I just need to believe it. And then I need to start acting like it. I, I need to walk in confidence. I, I need to believe that whatever I put my hands to do, that I can make it happen. And I had to learn how to love on myself. And when I started loving on myself, other people started loving me. When I believed in myself, other people started believing me. When I, when I believed I could execute, when I started setting goals for myself, people started believing in those goals and helping me with those goals. They started giving me money and started giving me a ride. They started introducing me to other people. And so when I forgave my father and forgave myself, and I started believing in myself, and I overcame that uh, low self-esteem, I was no longer a person's doormat. I never, I never thought, well, you could do it, but I can't do it. When I started believing, I can do, I can be number one too. I, even though I come from a, a, a small, you know, a, a background, humble beginnings, you know, lived in abandoned buildings, ate out of trash cans. Like that is a part of my life, but it's not my life. It is a chapter in my life. It's not the book of my life. It's not the narrative. And I'm going to write a new story. And when I start believing in myself, and I start loving myself, and I start doing things. Everybody else treated me like I treated me. They treated me like I, because I thought I was valuable, they thought I was valuable. Because I thought I was special, they thought I was special. Because I believed in me, they started to believe in me. So I had to overcome my biological father not being in my, in my life, and I had to overcome believing that I did not deserve to be great. I didn't deserve to have a healthy family and make good money and live in a good, a nice home and live in a nice neighborhood and send my kids to college and help other kids go. I did, I, when I start believing, I could go to Hawaii, I could go to Australia, I could go to the Netherlands, I could come to Dubai. 
when I started to believe in myself, I just started meeting people like you guys. And boom, I gave you what you needed. You gave me what I needed. We all believe in ourselves. We're all trying to do great things. And now we're helping each other do great things. That's what, that's when, that was one of the roughest things for me. By overcoming that though, everything, all my happiness was on the other side of overcoming that challenge. Absolutely, man. And you know what, honestly, you just said it. We are here for one reason, because you believe, no, we believe, sorry, we believe that you are not just great. You're yeah. the number one, man. Yeah. I, I want you to, I want, I want to know, can you see the chat? Can you, can you see it somewhere? Yeah, yeah, I can see the chat. Yes. Can everyone from the chat, from the chat, just a second, just post in which city or which country you're logging in from. Show us where you're from. Say hi to E. Dubai, Lebanon, Netherlands, uh, uh, Munich, Italy, <laughs> Australia, Germany, uh, Toronto, South Africa, uh, Dallas, Portugal, Switzerland, uh, Pakistan, <laughs> uh, Egypt, Rome. <laughs> This is crazy. Uh, okay. Miami, Italy, Hunger, Venice. Uh, oh, man. It's Armenia. Just, Armenia, Brazil, Panama, Libya. Uh, it's insane. You ate. Switzerland. <laughs> Switzerland. It's not stopping. Hey, Ruth. Zimbabwe, bro. Jordan. Isn't this crazy? So, so Love bro. it. Listen, here's, here's the deal. Here, here's what we're going to do, uh, E. We're, we're, we're all committing. And there's a, there's, there's a, I, I can't really tell the number, but there's a couple of thousand people watching this live. And then we're going to have a couple of more in, 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 uh, in watching the recording, but we're going to commit, um, Island, after, I'm sorry. To, to, to make this the month of our lives, the run of our lives. And then to go out and tell the story on how he came into our webinar, how he shared with us, um, and, and how he shared his energy and how we just went out and crushed it. I promise you. Portugal. We're going to write history in the world, and um, and we can't wait to have you in Dubai. We're going to have our international convention. Guys, for those of you that don't know, I mean, that'd be crazy if you wouldn't know, but in case somebody doesn't know, we're on in the Atlantis Hotel in Dubai. I'm just looking at it straight from here outside of my window. It's going to happen in November. My favorite hotel. At the moment, we feel we all good with the COVID situation for November. Yeah. But of course, we're watching the situation closely. But if we good, if we safe, we're all going to be here. He's going to come uh, to be with us. We have a spectacular room and a suite for you. Just by the way, we booked the best thing. And you're going to love that. And uh, we can't wait. Uh, dude, you know, let me just say, say this in closing. Um, you know, my team and I, we always talk about who would be one of the most unbelievable speakers we could have. And we always think about you for one reason. Because, you know, sometimes you've got these moments where you just like you close your eyes and you just, you know, just talk by I don't know faith and, and you just yes. like I don't, that's why they call you the hip hop preacher I guess like it's it's in the moment like, we don't know if you're are you talking are you are you prophesying are you preaching like what is it right but it's, it feels good so so if you can just the, I like the grand finale for this call yes. you can just yes. just just share with us what's what's on your heart right now what you feel is the right thing to say yes. to close this out and and to and to make it happen and and again thank you so much in advance uh, for being with us and um, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, what I'm feeling, guys, right now is you are alive. You are alive for a time such as this. You are alive with the Internet. You are alive. Like, we can actually talk to each other all over the world. There are so many blessings in the world right now, so much good, so much electricity, so much love. You got to take advantage of it. Like, no, enough is enough. No more days of poverty. No more days of frustration and, and, and negativity and fighting and fussing. Like no more days of lack, like no more. Like you gotta make up in your mind. I want the best of what the world has to offer. I wanna be the best person I can be. I wanna attract uh, other great people. I wanna attract other, listen to me. No matter where we come from, we deserve it. No matter where we come from, if one other human can do it, we can do it. If one other human is experiencing it, we should experience it. If one other human can buy it, we should buy it. If one other human is doing it, who are they that they're so much better than us that we can't do it? This is our time. This is our moment. We may not be here 300 years from now. We, this, 
is all we have. Now is all we have. No opportunity wasted now. Now is our moment to live. Now is our moment to have. Now is our moment. We are not promised tomorrow. We're not promised 100 years from today, 200 years from now. And so while we're on the earth, let's get everything we can. Let's love everybody we can. Let's, let's get the most joy we can. Let's experience life at its fullest. And when does it start? It starts today. And who does it start with? It starts with you. And whatever you do, you pass that down to your loved ones. You pass that down to those who are around you. So if you don't have the heart to do it for you, do it for those you love. Today is the only day you have. You do not have another day. Do not waste it. Live it up, guys. I love you. I cannot wait to touch you, give you my energy. I cannot wait to be in the building with you. 2020 is our year. Listen to me. Execute, execute, execute. And in the midst of COVID-19, still execute. Still execute. This COVID-19 does not give us a reason not to execute. We decided on our goals in December. We had a vision board in December. We wrote it down, y'all. We deserve it. And no virus has the right to take that from us. No virus has the right to come in and destroy our dreams and goals. So do you have to work a little harder? Yes. Do you have steeper hills to climb? Yes. Do you? Yes, but we only have a few more miles to go. Over the hill is home. So let's keep going. Never, ever, ever give up. Never, ever, ever, ever give up. And remember, success is going from one failure to the next without losing enthusiasm. Success is going from one failure to the next without losing enthusiasm. Don't you dare lose your enthusiasm. Don't you dare lose your hope. Don't you dare lose your dreams. Don't you dare lose your goals. And I'll see you guys on the mountaintop. Let's go. Thank you so much, E. And I'm going to show you. Thank, thank you so much. This was absolutely incredible. And now I'm going to share a brand new video that we have for the team right now. And um, let's have a look at this, guys. in desperation! That's it, everybody. Thank you so much for being with us tonight at our Unity Global Thank you to all the teams online here tonight from all over the world. Let's make it happen. Guys, we're writing history in this month of April 2020. Take the advantage to build your dreams, to build your dreams with network marketing, to build your dreams with Jeunesse Global. If you're not a founder yet, you're crazy. Talk to your upline. Make sure you can make it happen. And at this point, I also want to make sure I want to thank the whole translator team that is online with us right now. And I can't, I, I'm not exactly sure if we can make everybody's camera see. Potentially we can. But all the translators, please just show your faces. Wave to everybody. Say hi. Because we got this thing live streamed in Arabic, Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, uh, and Russian, and French. And this is a new chapter for all of us. And we're so excited. Thank you very much. Let's kill it. Let's bring this thing home. And everybody, again, thank Eric Thomas, the hip hop preacher, being with us here tonight. Have a great night, everybody. Enjoy, and let's do this.